Hello, my beautiful loves. Welcome to your love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Guys, we're going to start with some channeled messages, and then we're going to do a couple of oracle cards and get into the reading, okay? So, Taurus, the uh, channeled messages may or may not resonate with the reading. It may, you know, be a, it might be a message for only one of you, okay? So, take it as it resonates. So, Taurus, I feel like you're going to get a, a message here. Um... And it's going to knock you off your socks. It's it's going to really shock you. Okay, okay, it's going to really shock you. Um, I feel like somebody here is coming in with a message saying, listen, I don't want things to change between us. I don't want things to end between us. I would like to try to work things out. Um, I feel like you're finding out something that you didn't realize. I feel like you don't know what to do with the information, Taurus. Um, you don't know if you should take this offer or leave it. Um, you, you just, uh, you have, you're just finding out something that's about to blow your socks off. You have no idea. You don't even know what to do with this information. Okay, let's see here. For Taurus, please, Spirit. Nothing is set in stone yet. Okay, nothing is yet set in stone. So Taurus, I feel that that's an indication of you don't have to make a decision right away. Nothing is, you know what I'm saying? Even if you have a conversation with this person, nothing is set in stone. Okay, um, I feel that you're just very thrown off. It's a very, it's a feeling of being totally thrown off, you know, because you're just like blindsided, being blindsided. Door to personal healing and happiness. And indecision. So Taurus, again, you're going to have a decision here. You're going to have a decision here. Yeah, uh, the thinking man journey and caring connection you may have a choice between two people that's coming up here taurus okay um you know someone here i feel is opening that door to personal healing and happiness or it could be taurus that you have just started healing just started being happy after getting over something and you know now this person comes back in and with nothing set in stone yet i feel like it, it throws you off of balance like you thought you were on one path and now you're like am i on this path where am i going you know so let's see here what do we have here for Taurus, please? Clarity, guidance, love messages for Taurus, please. Tell me about Taurus, please, Spirit. Tell me about Taurus. So we've got status quo and we've got new beginnings. So you see what I'm saying, Taurus? You, you were off to start a new beginning. You were off to start your life. And now you're like, well, what? I, I don't know. Should I start my new life? You know, with nothing set in stone and status quo and new beginnings here, I feel like, you know, you had just kind of started to heal and move on and, you know, you were happy and everything's good. And now it's like you're being thrown for a loop because you're like, oh my gosh, now now what do I do? You know what I'm saying? Now what do I do? Um, Spirit, tell me about Taurus, please. We've got self-indulgence um, in the reverse. Focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. Tell me about Taurus, please. And we've got boat. Receiving what you need, progression arriving, moving on, and closure issues. And then acts, break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. So, Taurus, I feel that, you know, you've been working on yourself. You're moving on. You've decided to totally leave the situation behind, to stop the pattern, to move on and, you know, do what you need. And then out of nowhere, sudden change, shocking news, lightning bolt hits, okay? Sudden change, shocking news, surprise epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. Um, so you're going about your merry way, living your life, trying to heal and, and, and get over everything that has happened. And someone just throws a grenade your way tell me about Taurus please tell me about Taurus we've got forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments 
and we have heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with one another so Taurus I feel like somebody here wants to come in wants to talk to you wants to have a heart to heart conversation wants to tell you that they have forgiven you and they've healed or or you know Taurus this could be you coming in wanting to speak to somebody I don't know you know um, you know it could be you it could be your person but someone here is is wanting to reconcile someone here it doesn't want this connection to end um, but it's coming at a time when you're you're literally right on you just started your journey towards something new you know what I'm saying you just start, started your journey towards something new and now you're kind of like stuck on stupid like well um what <laughs> you know so let's see what we have here so there's uh, the page of wands leo sag aries energy so there's that message that we saw coming in okay there's that message clearly guidance love messages for my taurus a lot of wands here Taurus. a lot of wands here we've got the three of wands we have the eight of wands and we've got the queen of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo energy um, under the deck we've got temperance sagittarian energy so taurus you have someone coming in here wanting to talk three of wands this person is yearning still pining missing you eight of wands and the queen of pentacles this person wants to talk and they want to talk about commitment they want to talk about when they were your wife your husband your boyfriend your girlfriend they want to talk about serious stuff here um with temperance here i feel like uh with five of cups and temperance i feel like this person has healed they've had a lot of sorrow a lot of regret maybe they feel guilty about something maybe they want forgiveness for something i feel like this person is in a state of mourning of you know what i'm saying just feeling a lot of sorrow and they want to heal something with you okay they want to heal something with you um but it kind of sucks here taurus because i feel that with the emperor and the three of cups you may be in a place you might actually either be with a third party person or you may have just publicly announced that you're in a relationship or you've just gotten control over your life and you're finally happy do you understand and out of nowhere this comes in and throws you for a loop so let's see what happens here <clears throat> clarity guidance and love messages clarity guidance and love messages for my Taurus, please tell me about the page of wands and the three of wands. Okay. Yeah. So a page of wands on top of the page of wands. Taurus, this message is definitely coming in with the three of wands, the seven of wands and the nine of swords. I feel like perhaps um, someone you, you're not talking to this person, Taurus. Maybe you're not talking to them. You've blocked them. Um, they're suffering. This person is having nightmares. They can't sleep at night. They're sick to their stomach. They're suffering because they've been cut off from you. Tell me about the Eight of Wands here. Okay, so we've got the Eight of Wands and the Two of Swords. I feel that you have a shit ton of communication coming in here, Taurus, and you're going to have to make a very, very serious decision with the Two of Swords. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles and the Chariot, Cancerian Energy. This person is going to give you a choice. They're going to come in once again with the five of cups and the death card. I'm so sorry that I left you. I'm so sorry that I ended things. They're coming back. They abandoned you and now they're coming back or they left you and now they're coming back or they haven't spoken to you and they're coming back. Um, so someone's coming back around and they want to present and they're coming in for victory. This person wants a relationship with you. They're coming in, you know, with a sense of I'm coming in to win. I'm in it to win it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, Taurus. I don't know. Let's see here. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Taurus, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Taurus, please. So here we've got the world card. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Taurus, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Taurus, please. Okay. So here we've got the Four of Cups. We've got the King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. 
And we have the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. And we've got the Nine of Wands under the deck. Oh, yeah, Nine of Wands and the Three of Swords. Taurus, I feel like the person on this side, for them, it's over. For them, it's over. Four of Cups, I appreciate you calling. I, I, I appreciate what you're offering. But I can't touch those cups. I can't. I can't go there. Um, with the King of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles, this perhaps could be somebody that is in a relationship. Um, somebody here that you know is doing well, standing their ground in a steady place in life. And with the Nine of Wands and the Three of Swords, I feel that someone here is going to defend that. Um, I feel like someone here is going to defend uh, a third party, or they're going to defend a situation or they're going to have to say or do something that they know will break someone's heart. But the Hermit here uh, and the Four of Wands, I feel like someone here is going to, you know, withdraw because they are, in fact, in a relationship, living with someone, engaged to be married. Someone's like, listen, I've already, I already know what I want. You know what I'm saying? So I have to politely decline. I, I, I already have what I want. I know, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, someone here may either be uh, called to defend a third party, and that would be a third party in this situation. Um, it would appear that that's, you know, who this person's with currently. So someone here would be called to defend a third party or have to be defensive and be, you know, put their foot down and it may hurt the person on this side that's coming forward. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Spirit, tell me about the world card for Taurus. Um, we've got the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. Uh, I feel like we've got a true pair here, the King and Queen of Wands. This is, you know, a very good looking couple. This is a very fun couple. This is a couple that likes to go out, have a good time, a lot of passion, a lot of joy, a lot of love. They love to travel. They love to go do things. I feel like someone here has found their soulmate or their perfect counterpart. Let's see here. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Um, yeah, it, you know, I, I appreciate, you know, that you're coming in with this offer to work on things. There, there's what I felt when I was channeling. I appreciate that you want to talk. I appreciate that you would like to work things out. But with the Four of Cups, I see your offer, but I'm, I, I'm not touching that. You know, tell me about the King of Wands, please. Ooh. Tell me about the King of Wands, please. The King of Wands, please. King, uh, the Queen of Cups in the reverse, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Um, this is an energy of, I'm sorry, I don't have the same feelings for you anymore. You know what I'm saying? I don't have the same feelings for you anymore. Um, the Knight of Pentacles, please. Yeah, and the World card. Um, you know, it may have taken me a long time to move on, but I have moved on. You know, I feel like secretly, secretly... Um, the person on this side, the person on this side is jealous beyond, I mean, they're about to have a serious emotional outburst because someone here with the Ace of Wands and the Empress has moved on to somebody new. Do you see what I'm saying? And I feel like with the hanged man, someone here had a lot of time to change their mind, okay? I feel like this ended a long time ago, and they had a lot of time to realize, hey, you know, Taurus, I think I want you back. You know, they shouldn't have waited until somebody's in a full-blown relationship to, you know, say, hey, you know what I'm saying? Um <clears throat> Let's give this a shot again. Do you understand? So they had plenty of chances to make this work and they didn't take those opportunities. And now they're just really jealous and they're wanting to cause a lot of chaos and drama and because someone's, you know, truly moving on. Tell me about tell me about the challenge here. Tell me about the challenge here for Taurus, please. Ten of Wands. The Queen of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy, and the Seven of Pentacles. 
guys, what we have here is a situation where someone is overwhelmed with the past. Someone here has that competitive energy where they want to win. The Queen of Wands has an energy of wanting to win, okay? I feel like someone's nostalgic. They're overwhelmed with missing somebody. And be, they, they're stepping into an energy of being competitive. They want to come in and they want to win. They're going to come in with this apology, um, you know, with the Five of Cups. They're going to come in with this apology, this regret. But secretly here, this person person is wanting to reconcile secretly this person is wanting to cause a third party situation tell me about taurus please tell me about taurus please tell me about the outcome here for taurus please what is the outcome here for taurus please what is the outcome here for taurus please okay so we have the Four of Wands, the 1111, a card, Twin Flame. We've got the Five of Cups, and we have the Four of Swords. So Taurus, the answer here is, I'm sorry. Uh, six of Pentacles under the deck. I'm in a relationship. I love them. They love me. We're stable. We're engaged to be married. I, I truly do apologize with the Five of Cups, but Four of Swords, I've healed from this. You know what I'm saying? I've healed from this. I've moved on. You had your chance. You know what I'm saying? You've had plenty of chances um, and you didn't take it. So now I've moved on and I got to go, you know? Okay. All right, guys. I love you so much and take care. Bye, loves.